What's up everyone, John Rittinger from Techno Buffalo here, and I've got a hands-on with the Apple Watch. This is in particular the Apple Watch Sport in the 42 millimeter configuration. So let me show you quickly how it works. So if you've got your hand down by your side, when you put your hand up, it's going to turn on. I've got my, got my Mickey face here. Uh, if you want to use it, there's a couple things you can do with the UI. If you want to customize your watch face, go ahead and do a force tap, and you can go ahead and customize and pick the face that you want to go ahead and slide to one. We'll stick with Mickey, but go ahead and hit customize. And now you can tax us these different quadrants. So I could hit um, weather up there and I can do one touch of the crown. I can change what's going to show up. And the same thing down below, I can just turn the crown and different options uh, will start to show up depending on what I want to do. Find what I like and go hit off, tap it again, and I can go back and now I am there. Uh, so you've got a digital crown and a button. The crown is very similar to what you see on a regular watch. They say the best way to use it is not to go like this, but actually just to use one finger and start scrolling, and it's a very natural motion. So if I tap that just one time, I'll get access to all the apps. And it's very simple to move around, it's very fluid. Go ahead and pick where you want to go just with your finger. And if you want to zoom in or zoom out, you can go ahead and zoom in just with the scroll. So I've got Instagram right there on the middle. If I roll up, it'll open Instagram. If I want to scroll back and see more of what I've got, I can go ahead and do that and pick the one I want. And I can just tap and jump right in. So there's mail, for example. Uh, if I go ahead and do a simple tap again, I'll go back. And if I do a little bit of a double tap action, go ahead and view the, uh, the inbox. Uh, if you go ahead and double tap this button down below, you go ahead and access Apple Pay. And of course, you can swipe to see which card you want to use, and you are good. But if I don't want to double tap and I want to single tap that, this is where you can sort of interact with your people. This is where the watch becomes more personal. Um, so you go ahead and use that digital crown. Find a person you want. So this guy looks uh, fun. I'll tap him. And I get different options. I can send him, you know, I can call him or send him a text. Let's say I want to go back even further, and I'll go ahead and do that one more time. Let's say I want to go to about here. So she has an Apple Watch, so I can do a couple few different things here. I get that new option right there where it's like a finger. If I go ahead and select that, I can pick a color. I can say pick yellow. I can draw her face or whatever I want to draw. And you'll see it start to float away and slowly disappear, and that will show up right on her watch. Uh, we'll go ahead and go back home. If I swipe up from the bottom, so we get access to a lot of different things. So power reserve, Apple saying about 18 hours of uh, battery life. You can see all the different apps that you've got and different settings that will show up for them. So W Hong Kong, Instagram, and go ahead and view recent posts. You can see different times, weather, maps, anything that you want. This is where it all show up, and including exercise. You know, a lot's been made here about uh, the activity monitor, and Apple's uh, done a very nice job making sure this is going to be useful uh, for activity tracking. And this is what the watch looks like uh, on your hand. I'm John Rangers from Techno Buffalo. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. We always appreciate it. Uh, and of course, check us out at technobuffalo.com for way more Apple Watch news. Uh, until next time, I'm John Ranger. Check you guys in the next video. Bye bye.